And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes. And my word, the market is absolutely volatile right now. If you guys have not paid attention for the past few hours, I mean, I did do a pack opening of the initial NBA 75 packs, which did not go well, but they have dropped every hour since I believe 3 p.m. Central Time. They've dropped a limited time VC only super pack with a different variety of players in them. Um, I believe they dropped an NBA 75 one. They dropped a masked alter ego one. They dropped a diamond and pink diamond one. They've also dropped a limited edition one where it was a guaranteed limited edition pink diamond. I believe that's the last one. I don't think we're going to be seeing another one. They also dropped a glitched one. Yeah. So a lot of players are cheap right now. So let's talk about the guys who are cheap. Now, weirdly enough, the one player who has seen absolutely no drop in price really is pink diamond D Rob. He was in, I think, at least one of these super packs. Um, he's in the main super pack and I think a different one as well. In addition to being on triple threat offline boards, which he's has an abysmal drop rate of which I would assume, right? His price hasn't dropped too much. I mean, he's definitely down a little bit. I think AD's price dropped a little bit too. He's kind of one of those cards that hasn't really dropped too much. Um, Everyone else has dropped substantially, though. Drexler is significantly cheaper than he was earlier. He hasn't seen much of a drop as well, but it remains to be seen. Penny went from being like 80K to now being like 45K, which I think is crazy. Like this card is ridiculously cheap at this point. You can get them around 40K and under. This really leads me to believe that 2K is about to drop some absolutely wild stuff in season three because they absolutely came through and just tanked their own market. Though, this is something that 2K does occasionally. And the reason they do it is because they'll tank the market to basically make uh, VC purchasing a little bit more rational and stuff like that by tanking the market in this regard. Um, we didn't really see a huge tank in the signature series, guys. Like I think Steph Curry, his price is kind of evened out, but there's so many good point guards at this point that we're not really seeing crazy amounts. If you're looking for a 3 and D defender that can play the shooting guard, he's not going to do much else but play 3 and D, basically, a cone. For lack of a better term, I should have just probably led with that, but it was... It is what it is. I'm tired, dude. I just streamed for two hours. Like, leave me alone. Who am I yelling at? Doesn't matter. I'm having conversations in my own head. Jalen Brown is still super fire, honestly. The Dunktober guys are cheaper. I don't think any of these guys are really worth picking up. Uh, Kobe is really cheap, though. I'm actually shocked to see him be as cheap as he is. Um, I just like how this 832. The NBA 75 guys, let's just start there. Mike and was really cheap earlier and now he's already back up to 80k so but that being said like the flash glitch one there's really no difference between the two at all like at all and you can get this card for a fraction of the price this george Mikan has 12 hoff badges limitless spot up clutch shooter what is going on dude people are paying an absolute premium for any card with hoff badges right now Clay Thompson is another one of those cards where you're going to want to sit and wait and just take a look at Clay Thompson because I could easily see him uh, dropping in price. This, the ungodly amount of Clay Thompson. It's like every minute there is a Clay Thompson, if not multiple. And that is going for the next four or so hours. So it's going to be interesting to see what his price actually settles at. I mean, look, look at how many there are. There is so many. I don't know if he's necessarily going to be a buyout later tonight, but it's possible that he is. So you're definitely going to want to take a look at this. I'm not saying that many will do this, but there are going to be some that probably don't sell because they're too bunched together with other Clay Thompson. So keep an eye on Clay Thompson. George Mike you can get for like 30K. He's easily the best center you can get for that price. That's my own opinion. John Wall went from being like 400, 500K to like, I don't even know. I truly, there's so many John Walls up. Like, there is so many. I mean, you had a 20% chance to basically get John Wall in the flash glitch backs, and there is an absurd amount. I don't know what he's going to settle on, but it's definitely something to keep an eye out. It's the whole market is wild right now. Uh, the only cards I really haven't seen a noticeable drop, even D Rob saw a noticeable drop for a little bit. I mean, 213. That's actually crazy. John Stockton's like 15K right now. Giannis hadn't seen a huge drop. James Harden did. He was down at like 40 or 50K for a little bit. And now he's back up to around like 80, which I think is kind of crazy. Like it's about 70. I picked him up for 40K. So I'll probably put him up for 80 if I can get him. 
You know what I mean? That's I think that's a good price. Nate Thurmond, he was really cheap for a little bit. I should have just picked him up while he was really cheap. I wasn't really paying attention to him, though. I was, like, too busy tweaking over everybody else. Most <laughs> so cheap as well. He was, like, 30K. He's still, like, 40. I think Kevin McHale, doofy. The limited edition cards are very cheap. These are the ones that just now uh, ended. Like, Zion, there was no, there's so many of these limited edition cards up. Zion is like 40k right now. I believe Richard Jefferson at one point was like 30 something k. I'm guessing he got snatched up, but he's still around 50. If you're looking for any of these cards and you've been wanting them since they came out, like you can get them from dirt cheap. Where's Sabonis at? Sabonis being as good as he is, he's still going to be over 100k, but just barely. Same with like Dolph Shays too. We saw that as well. Kevin Durant's price is down quite a bit. This leads me to believe that they're going to do something crazy next season in regards to like content. We're probably going to see duplicates of all these guys significantly better. I'm guessing they're going to blow power balancing out of the water next season. Because what 2K did this year is they pretty much kept every pink diamond the same batch wise in season one and season two, right? They kept them at about six Hoff batches and the diamonds sat around three or four. My guess is what they're going to do for season three is they're going to blow power balancing out of the water. Pink diamonds are going to have like 10 Hoth badges and diamonds are going to have like five or six, right? And so they're liquidating all of the pink diamonds right now pre-qualifiers. So this is a good thing. I mean, I think it's I think it's a good thing, certainly. Jason Tatum, I'm shocked to see his price be that high. He must have been pretty rare. It's 801, so I wonder if they drop new packs in the pack market. It looks like they're done. This is this is the end of it. So the market crash is officially kind of over at this point. My man Dolph Shays, though. There were some Dolph Shays for buyout price, and I am so mad that I didn't get one. But I'm going to pay attention about three hours from now when all of these Dolph Shays start ending, and I'm going to try to pick my boy up, dude. I need him. Six foot eight. Look at him. Just, just an absolute athlete. Him and George Mikan on the same team. Just a dynamic duo of epic portions. It's like Tommy Lee and uh, why can't I remember the bass player's name? Nikki Six, yeah. But just like, instead of being wild and crazy and doing whatever it is they do, they're just like, do your taxes. You know what I mean? Jason Terry is really cheap, by the way. I wanted to highlight Jason Terry because you can get Jason Terry for like eight, nine K and he's probably the best value point guard in the entire game. Now, I haven't even highlighted any of the Amethyst guys as of yet. And the reason for that is because they're all basically buyout price. Any Amethyst and Ru or Ruby card you can get for nothing at this point. Like, and I highly recommend picking some of those guys up. Batum is really cheap too. I think I've seen him go for like 20 something K. He's absolutely worth that price, by the way. Uh, Pete Maravich, actually his price has not been really affected. That's kind of crazy. Jamal Masburn, same thing. I don't think he was really included in any of these packs. So his price didn't really tank either. This Nate Thurmond, even though you can buy the other one for like, 40k or whatever he's not really affected elgin baylor wasn't really affected by this price spike uh grant hill wasn't really either he was because of so many small forward power forwards going down in price but really it's just crazy none of the primetime guys were really affected by this which is why i assumed we were going to get a primetime pack because wasn't really sure but it yeah dikembe i think is really cheap too same with it it so Isaiah Thomas, Trey Young, um, who's the other point guard? John Stockton and Hal Greer are all like 20K and under. If you're looking for a really solid budget point guard, same with Jason Terry, you can get any of those five guys for under 20K right now. And as far as like which one you want, that's personal preference. If you want a three hunt, Trey Young or Jason Terry, if you're looking for an all around player, Isaiah Thomas, um, Hal Greer, I guess, can do a little bit of everything. He's just not booming, which I think is kind of an issue, but base 22 is pretty solid. I like it better in like a shooting guard or a small forward than I do on a point guard. That's just a personal opinion, though. Andre Karolinko is like 50-something K right now, which I don't know necessarily if that's worth it. If you want to pick him up to use him, I think it's worth it. But as an investment standpoint, I don't think that's really what you want to go with. I don't see his price going too much higher than 50K. Though this is the masked version, so I mean, perhaps, maybe. Prices are going to tank tomorrow as well. Maybe not as much as we saw it tank today, but they're definitely going to tank 
tomorrow after the 250k qualifiers everybody who doesn't qualify this time is going to liquidate their entire team uh to make mt back basically you know and prepare by building up their team in season three which another thing i would recommend doing to a certain extent but you don't want to kill your entire team especially if you're only going to get like a quarter of the value for it you know badges are still high and they're going to be high tomorrow morning as well especially if you have any of what i call the money badges um limitless spot up chef clamps uh interceptor intimidator dead eye we've only seen clamps go up and up and up tonight it started at like 9k this morning now it's up to like 17 hot zone hunter is another one anything you can give Giannis basically is going to go up in price quite a bit like if the fact that gold badges are like 3k and they're like the easiest ones to get a hold of is actually kind of crazy now looking at some silver badges like limitless spot up i think it's expensive right now yes 13k that's kind of crazy dude clamps is really expensive right now wow blinders went up it was like 2k earlier every badge is exploding in price right now especially pre 250 what is going on why is corner specialist so expensive if you have silver corner you can get like 7k for it right now that's crazy i'm absolutely gonna sell this for 8k if i can that's nuts like i didn't realize silver corner was gonna be so expensive like you can make a lot of mt off silver badges right now the people who are going to badge their cards out astronomically they buy mt <laughs> okay like nobody is badging their cards out in that fashion through either straight grinds or VC pack purchases. It's just not going to happen, right? So just upcharge them on the badges as much as you can. As always, it's been your boy Cheap Leads. You know, I'll be back with more content tomorrow. Catch me streaming. I'll be on YouTube live, by the way. I won't be on Twitch tomorrow. Uh, so catch me streaming the 250K qualifiers. I will see you guys then. I will make it three games before I get kicked out. That's my thing but i'll probably get kicked out game one because i'm preaching this so it is what it is have a good night you guys peace